Hello. It is Shadow of Judgment time. For any of you who are new to this channel or just this portion of it, like Shadow of Judgment is where we look at things that are happening in the background, things you might not know about, things that might be part of your subconscious. Fire signs, you're going to be up first. Looks like your card is the three of one. So you're not waiting for something. You might actually be ending something for all of you. Remember, fire signs, this is for sun, moon, Venus, rising, and Jupiter. So check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. After all, it's just a card game. Aries, it's always you're up first. Let's see. We got nine of swords reverse and the two of pentacles you're trying to come to some choice because like there's something from back in the day that's like really getting to you something to do with your household possibly things just didn't get completed in time and now you're just ready to start with some new kind of love right here right possibly with a water sign that water sign could also be trying to walk away from the family, household, a relationship, everything you've built together. You, of course, are at a crossroads with all of this as well. Also, cross watchers, you can switch everything around if you need to. No worries. I forgot to do the middle, but that's okay. Yeah, I don't think they want to come together with you. I think they've lost patience or just don't care. One of the two. Uh... But it doesn't seem like they entirely want to end things. But they are keeping their guard up. Or that's you keeping your guard up as you look at all this over. Just being like, mm. Let's see. Now there is a prominent chance. Or that's not the right word. I'm not thinking of prominent. What am I thinking of? Maybe more probable chance of like being able to give something to this person. But they're keeping their guard up from you. Right? And definitely keeping secrets. They might be trying to use your intuition for some sort of reason, too. Hmm. Yeah, however this stuff ended, like, you're at a point now where you're just getting ready to possibly meet other people. Could be an earth sign involved as well. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um... It's like there's something that won't end here, or they don't want to end it properly, like... They might be making the choice to just be like, you know what, I'm going to take my cup somewhere else because I don't think we mesh together. But at the same time, it's like they're not really walking away as much as they are just trying to keep their guard up because, I don't know, you probably scared them or something. That's a possibility. You guys can be kind of ruthless when it comes to, like, getting your point across, too. But that's an admirable point. What is this intuition the High Priest is telling them? They're not going to catch a break anytime soon. Or you are. One of the two. Um, hmm. I almost feel like whoever you're dealing with, Aries, is somebody who isn't going to rest till they fuck something up. But it's like, you're right here. Also, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius as well. But I feel like they really want to, like, kind of screw up what it is you're going on. They just don't know how to go about it yet while you're sitting here having no idea with your back turned with what it is their intentions actually are it's like you know they want to do this but they want to do it while you're not looking so be very careful Aries okay that's your shadow for this week now we move on to Leo Leo we're gonna look at your shadow now so you just sit tight See what you or your cross watchers are up to. Right? Right. So what have we got for you this coming week, Leo? Oh yeah. This is for the hell's the date? The 26th. Oh god. Okay, hold on. I need to actually look at a calendar. Um The 26th to the 2nd of August. So there we go. This is where this is going. My bad. I never really look at the dates until I get there, and then it's just like, ah, I might have messed it up just a little bit. Bunch of cards came out for you, Leah, but I'm only reading the ones that, like, actually, like, I could see. Let's see, 
separation from somebody it might be looking like the right thing to do possibly dealing with a libra but there are things on your brain that just aren't being released and it's actually bothering you a little bit because now it's like looking back it's kind of like someone got left out in the cold or a few people got left out in the cold right right all right yeah someone might have been playing some fuck fuck games and then like didn't win the war as quickly as they did the battle there's a spider and it is dead there we go so leo what do we have for you you guys are dropping a bunch of cards. But then my cards have been doing this for a while, but it's like extra. We got an Empress right here. Could be Aries, Libra, Taurus, and Venus energy. Or a mother figure. And there were you with the sun. Your happiness. She might make you happy. Or there's somebody. Mother figure, your mom, some woman. But there's a broken home in the center. The door's closed with the four of wands. Yeah, you might be wanting to end things with this person, or they're wanting to end it with you, or there's some exchange that isn't happening. As for your happiness, it's coming with a brand new cycle right here, right? But here you are again with the strength reverse. It's like, you're trying to, hmm. Okay, so you'd be happy to start a new cycle, but you're holding on to a closed door? You might feel like this Empress person is not giving you what you think you want, or they have nothing to offer you, and that's why it feels like there's nothing coming or going their way. Um, you might feel like things might not work out if you try to go to this new cycle, and you're looking over everything with this person over here like, hmm... What kind of action should I take? We also have the moon with a bunch of secrets, and then the three of cups, and then we got four more cards for you, right? You are trying to make a decision on how you're going to move forward. You could be dealing with a cancer when it comes to the cherry. It might be trying to ride towards victory. And you're trying to move on to the future from past relationships and start offering your cups somewhere else. Once again, water sign. So you guys could be dealing with a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. A lot of emotion here like I feel like you want to go in the future and deal with somebody from the past but at the same time like you're the gray dude walking away from this relationship almost like this person gave more to other people than they did you all right let's see Leo right for you this week you're definitely dealing with hmm If this is you as the Empress, Leo, like, you're deciding to end things with someone you probably think is either an idiot or with people who you don't want to deal with very much anymore. But you're keeping that under wraps. Once again, Pisces and Cancer, that water, right? You're keeping things under wraps, you're keeping up an illusion, but you're looking over with the King of Wands over here. Like, mind you, you're all over the board. So this is definitely on your side. <clears throat> Now this door is closed, but you are holding yourself back for some reason when it comes to these secrets because you're trying to judge accordingly before you make an actual passionate action. Making sure that like you do take the right response. Like not like being strict or anything. It's not like you're reverse, so you're not being an asshole. But you're actually trying to um, be very considerate in this situation. Now with your happiness over here, that would come with like a new cycle and I think you would be happy with that. But the thing is, is like, it wouldn't work or something wouldn't work in this or something wasn't developed enough for this Three of Cups, this celebration to happen. It's like, it's like, mm, I don't know. What, what would the Eight of Pentacles be? Because I don't understand exactly what it means for it to be there. Oh, okay. Um, tower moment. Not happening. Um, so it'd be like, it wouldn't work because like, it wouldn't be exactly what you expected it. Like you are sitting here and judging everything accordingly and you are figuring things out. Despite the fact that there might be secrets and shit right over here. However, to... 
I think move on to a cycle of happiness or just to keep this door closed and separate or whatever. It's kind of like it won't work out because it's avoiding some sort of truth right here, which has some relation to the moon, right? It's like um, you can move on and try to be happy, but it's like this is going to be stuck in the back of your head despite all of the happy shit going on around you. Like there's plenty of celebrations and everything, but it's like this tower moment that you're avoiding lingers a little bit. So you might be having to deal with that for the week, right? Or just that's a focus for you. I don't think you're really going to do much of um, anything towards any of this because you're just sitting on your throat and watching. But still, it's like, I don't know. But that's your shadow. Leo. Judge accordingly, though, because, you know, I, like I feel like the grass isn't greener on the other side is something to say. But I think you're already aware of that, which is probably why you're staying where you are. Which I think it probably is the best thing for you, but at the same time, it's like, hmm. I don't know what you could be hanging on to. Okay. Sagittarius, you have the Ace of Wands. Sweet. I think last week's yours was pretty good, and the week before it was like really fucked up, <laughs> if I remember correctly. And the Lovers. Ew. Okay. So you got some love on your brain. Possibly, possibly, possibly with a Gemini, right? Um, definitely looking for your happiness somewhere. You just don't know how to go about getting things started or you're looking at things through the wrong lens. You might be looking at reality kind of fucky or you might not realize that reality is a little bit warped with how you're viewing things. Well, damn. Whatever this lover situation is, there's not really love here. And if there is, it's like, hmm, I don't like that. <laughs> Just putting that out there. Oh, you want to be happy and heal from any broken heartedness this week? Might be ignoring your intuition just a little bit or you're holding something back when it comes to this decision. Um, Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Hmm. Someone might be being very um, logical and grounded in their decision making when it comes to this lovers and realizing, you know, eh, maybe this isn't a good idea. Maybe it's not. Yeah, it's kind of like you want to recover because there's been a lot of shit you've been through and I think you don't want to put yourself through that situation again. Right? You're looking for some information. There's that air sign again. A little bit more immaturely. Ooh. Yeah, you're not trying to go to, like, okay, you're just trying to avoid some bullshit. Like, you want to start something, but whatever choice you're not making is based on you ignoring your intuition. It's like, you're looking, if this is you, if it's not an air sign, but it's like, you're looking for something. Information, communication, understanding some common ground, especially with this page right here. Trying to not, it, it's not that you're being impulsive, it's more like you're being precocious. But not to a fault, because it's keeping you from, like, actually taking action to get that booty with the Knight of Wands, right? Booty card man. You are not trying to go for booty. <laughs> You're being cautious about the booty. Examining the booty. Knowing the booty. Going arg with the booty, like you're a pirate or some shit, right? Now, you're happy. And you are healing yourself from heartbreak, but it's like between trying to figure people out and really hesitating with jumping the gun somewhere, it's like you're really focused on how you'll end up hurting yourself more than you will another person. Like, it's not the betrayal that's bothering you, it's the betrayal of self that you're reflecting on more or less. And that's the basis for why you're really not paying attention to your intuition, why you're not moving to take any action, and why you're more impulsive when it comes to like gathering what you need to know than it is actually doing something. Like you're you're going into philosopher style right now, I believe. Now this lovers, for some reason there's no love here or there's something up with it. There could be an air sign, once again, that you're dealing with, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But it's like, the love that was supposed to be here in this lovers, it, it, it's not. It's like, if there was an apology that needs to be given, or if somebody needs to do something, or if somebody needs to actually express their emotions, 
that's not happening because someone's paying attention to what they need to cut out. So, what is this Queen of Swords cutting out? Some bullshit people she don't work well with. <laughs> like, people she don't like. Trying to look at the options and everything. Because, like, there's a lot of burden dealing with this shit, right? It's like, um... Okay, it's like you have choices, and all the choices you have don't work out because nobody knows how to cooperate with each other, and nobody knows how to work together. So it's becoming more trouble than what it actually is, and that's probably why you're cutting it out. What's causing the Knight of Wands not to move forward? Ah, okay, door's closed, that's why. You don't want to run into a closed door. And you're really eyeing that closed door like you're pissed off. And you have every right to be. Okay, so it's kind of like after you decide not to take action because you recognize that this door is closed, which, you know, you're kind of like not really looking at anyway. Like you're too busy looking at anything else. You're too busy ignoring what your intuition's telling you. Trying to figure out stuff on your own because you're too worried about this shit, right? But by the time you recognize that this door is closed and you're kind of mad about it, because, you know, King of the Emperor, well, not King, the Emperor is pretty old. This means it takes some time. He's been on that throne for a while recognizing all of this shit, right? And it's like you realize this isn't the lovers, this is just the Two of Cups reverse. It's like, um, it wasn't as great as I think you thought it was. And it just kind of, I, th I think it bothers you more that you wasted your time on it than like you actually went on the adventure. That's what I, I like, if it makes you question too much, it starts to piss you off. At least that's how I feel, because I'm like Sag rising, right? So, there we go. That is all for your reading fire signs. Good deal, okay? Thanks for watching my video. If you want a personal reading, all the information is down below. First reading is on the house. I do accept tips and donations, such like that. But you can find all that stuff down below, right? You guys try to have a good day, and I will see you later. Email me if you want to. Bye-bye.